We may be living in oil country, but entry level jobs in the oil and gas industry aren't filling up fast enough. Why? I mean, the type of work that um, uh, that we're talking about here is very labor intensive. So it's carrying, you know, 40, 50 pound pipe all day long for 10 hours a day. Head of CWC Energy Services says because of the COVID pandemic, the field labor workforce diminished, but now it's ramping up again and 100 new positions in their company need to be filled. We have had um, people that may have believed that the fossil fuel industry is, is, uh, is a dying breed and that we won't need that necessarily. Uh, I would disagree with that argument. Um, and, and as we've seen throughout 2022, that um, natural gas and oil was here to stay for quite some time. A manager at the Braden Center for Career Advancement says he's also noticed that people are veering away from oil and gas jobs. Working in oil and gas would require them to spend extended period of times away from home. According to what I heard from employers, it's pretty rough on the rigs. Uh, it needs a certain personality, certain character. Uh, it needs uh, someone who's physically fit as well. Another challenge, those who want to work from home, something they have done during the pandemic. Many people have uh, used the uh, time of COVID to actually retrain themselves, improve their computer skills, improve their ability to deal with technology. So this is a trend that we're definitely seeing right now with people who have training with, with like data analysis or using different computer applications. Uh, marketing. Duncan Au of CWC says they've targeted immigrants, younger adults, and have hired from Eastern Canada in the past, but they're currently looking to hire locally in Western Canada, which can be its own challenge. It's really more the turnover uh, in terms of uh, new entrants coming in, trying it out, and maybe suggesting that this, you know, the work is is not for them. So um, we'll always continue to have that in our industry, I believe. Duncan Au says the companies raise their wages to increase their hiring chances. And as winter approaches their busiest season for work, there's hope that those 100 positions will be filled in time. In Edmonton, Sarah Chu, City News.